So, we're back. We're back in Kyrgyzstan. This time it's summer. And in summer there's only one place a good Kyrg goes for a summer holiday. And that is Isikul. I like to call it something else. But uh, Elena keeps telling me it is Isikul. And uh, yeah, so here we are at the lake. But that's not actually the lake. That's a picture of the lake. But um, hopefully we'll get to see the real thing because we're paying five thousand soms per night and that five thousand soms per night is a lot of money by Kyrgyz standards standards but that's that's 92 Australian dollars has it got any cents involved in that to be precise 91.42 okay 91.40 that's uh, 9140 91 dollars and 40 cents 41 dollars and 42 cents um, we might just check that because the dollar has been going up and down a bit. So it might be 43, it might be 41, but we'll make sure we get it right. But uh, we're here. Elaine is excited about our unit because it does look like the most Western style place that we've stayed in. And um, that's probably why the uh, pretty high price tag, really. But we are here at the best time of the year in August. We've been playing this for a long time because Elaine has been telling me for a long time that you have to swim in August. In August. In Isikul. In Isikul, because I think it's called Icy Cold Lake, but she assures me in August it's not. So, Elena, would you like to just show us around this marvelous $91.42 per right. night? Thank you. Okay, so we'll start with the bathroom. That's Pretty good bathroom, I'm very happy about that. Nice shower. Nice mirror. Everything is clean. Kitchen is compact, but very functional. You've got plenty of cupboard space. You've got everything you need, including washing machine. And yeah. Off to the master, master bedroom, and it's a good Kyrgyz tradition not to make your bed because uh, uh, they don't want to spoil your creativity. So just use your own creative mind to make the bed the way you like it. That's the view. You cannot see the lake from here, otherwise we'd be paying probably 7,000 soms per night. So we're happy about that. We'll have a look at the lake when we get there. But it's down there. And uh, let's have a look at our second bedroom. That is those two beds are not made as well. If we have any visitors, like my mom or uh, our friends, I can certainly make a bed for my mom, but my friends can do it themselves. We're not going to charge them for that. Uh, yeah. So it's all pretty good. Lovely chandeliers in every single room and uh, shiny ceiling. Beautiful. I'm very happy about that. And here's the living room. Let's hit the beach. <laughs> so we've come straight down to the beach and uh, well, you know, we went to Belcash and we we're expecting a beach and we got pebbles. But um, we've run down here. It is late, late at night. What's the time, darling? Mm, it's um, four past seven. Four past seven at night. Yeah. And um, the sun will stay up until about ten past eight or so. Oh, probably another two hours. Twelve past nine. I think so. All right. Not eleven past nine. No. I'm going to say ten past nine. <laughs> we'll see who's. Yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> But anyway, so we've come here, we've hit the beach. It is late at night, so we probably won't be doing any sunbathing right now. But um, yeah, as I say, we went to Balcash and it was all pebbles. But this is not pebbles. And here we go. That beach. And we've got a pier. Has appeared. A pier has appeared. And uh, we can walk out to the pier. Oh, and we can might be able to see the rainbow but out there in the distance because this is the first cloudy sky we've experienced 
in weeks. We've been uh, back in Bishkek and summer in Bishkek. Okay. Alright, so maybe one or two too many kvasses, you reckon? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so you can if you're lucky you can catch a, a free concert um yes yeah, so a little bit of kvass do you think or a lot of kvass actually i smelt beer milk, i smelt beer so <laughs> all right so yeah so back to the sky and we do have a beautiful rainbow and uh it's not as bright as that lady's hair down there her hair sort of makes the rainbow look a little bit dull. Um, but yes, we have actual sand, we have actual water, and uh, it really is quite nice. I think we've got Hamas flying in for a visit. You can see them up in the sky there. And we've got units right along the beach. We're back about two blocks. Uh, Elena got the tallest building she could find um, and uh, so I could lug our bags up as far as we could. Now this is the thing that disappoints me is the the mountains are just amazing but you cannot tell on video what they look like it's they're just amazing but uh, yeah so this is a beautiful place and it is a big lake <laughs> it looks like there's ships getting around out there. So as I mentioned, oh, I can hear the familiar sound of lapping waves, but uh, as I mentioned we were in Bishkek and the average temperature, well the temperature each day between 35 and 38 degrees every day, uh, dropping not down below 30 degrees at night. So <coughs> um, that's a low lying area and um, as soon as we got up here, because believe it or not, even though we've, it looks like we've come to the ocean, We've actually gone up mountains to get here. So uh, Elena's my lady in charge of statistics, so she'd be able to tell me how many metres above sea level we are. But most importantly, I've been hearing about this place that sounds like it's called Isikul. And Elena has been saying to me, no, you come here in August, and we've hung around for this specific purpose. To find out if it is warm water she tells me it's warm water so I'm just about to find out 100% for sure is it is it cool warm water or as I call it icy kind of lake and um, I've been ankle deep and uh, Okay, it's at night, so I'll come back during the day, but so far, Icy Cold Lake is the better description. Meanwhile, on the pier, Elaine has found herself a new boyfriend. <laughs> I saw you taking photos, <laughs> and I could see him... Um, Offering a picture of me. But vying for your attention. <laughs> it was quite cute. But anyway, he's lurking around. Oh, he's still here. Hang on. How are you doing? He asks how are you doing. He asks how are you doing. Ah, it's all normal. He says all good. All good. So, yes, so stop putting him off. Like everything else in Bishkek, oh, not Bishkek, in Kyrgyzstan, it does pay to watch your step. Yeah, so there's a plethora of watercraft getting around out there. That looks like fun. You've got a, like an air lounge at the back. We've got some large ferries there. But they're quite large boats, unless they're fishing boats, or do they ferry from one cross, one cross from one side to another, perhaps? I don't know. But uh, it's a definitely a nice place to come in the evening. Beautiful skies, beautiful water, in the golden hour. Yeah, this is nice. So, chalk one up, the wife was right. Isikul is lovely in summer. I told you it's going to be nice. You did 
Yeah, you told me it was going to be warm, darling, didn't you? Yes. Yeah, very warm. That's nearly half past seven. Okay, yes, yes. Tomorrow, so, it will be much warmer. That's right. Well, it has had the day, whole day, to, with the sun beating down on it. But I'm sure it'll be warmer tomorrow. Yeah, so those are our steps if you want to, well, risk going down the water from here. The water is very, very clear. It's not super deep where we are, but... Um, just down there, there's some metal round objects that look like they might be the plugs. So when they've, uh, if the water gets too dirty, everyone's had a bath, they just pull the plug. Oh. You can just see in there, first of all, I thought they were stingrays, and then I realised, nope, I'm in Kyrgyzstan. And we've got a plethora of jet skis. That one's actually a sea do. He's moving along quite well. Yeah, tell me about the jet skis, Dale have to be careful around them because only last week it was on the news that a person got killed by one of those. Uh, unfortunately, uh, a week before it was another accident, a person got seriously injured. How can you keep these secrets, darling? When, I, when you're telling me you're booking these places, you don't share this information. I did not want to share this information with you about the dangers of it's cool if you're not careful, otherwise you, you won't come. Ah. <laughs> we found ourselves a bar at the beach. We've got a... Beer. Vel uh, vel velvet, velvet beer. beer. No idea where that comes from, but it's quite not, not too bad either taste. And I've got a what is this? <laughs> uh, that is raspberry and blackberry vodka drink. Yeah, it's got vodka in it. And um, yeah, we're just sitting here as the sun slowly sinks down into the ocean and uh, kicking back, enjoying ourselves. Now this is what I call holiday vibe. I've been trying to explain to Alina that climbing mountains is not a holiday and uh, I think we'll have a comparison. This is what I want us to do and then later we'll have a video of what Elena likes to do. But, but when you climb the mountain you enjoy beer or the vodka drink at the beach much more. You appreciate it. It's true. It's, it's a bit like if you put your head in the fire, you really appreciate the pool when you jump in. Well, because you challenge yourself. And here we are, swanning around. Not the only ones swanning around. So we were intending to come down first thing this morning, but uh, the bed was so comfortable. We had a lot of sleep to catch up on that we didn't even realise that we needed. So. We've come late in the afternoon, and as you can see, there's a lot more people on the beach. A lot more people on the beach during the day. And that's the kind of fish you catch at Isikul. <laughs> so Elena is running out into the water to prove how warm it is. <laughs> And I'm standing in it, and um, it's probably, <laughs> yeah, it's so warm, darling, I can't see you so far away. But it's uh, very, very warm, and um, no, it's, uh, in all seriousness, it's about 19 degrees, the water temperature, so it's not freezing cold or anything, but it's definitely not um, summer temperatures. <laughs> So as you sit here enjoying the beach, a man comes up and offers to sell you corn. And Elena is just tasting hers. How is your corn, darling? Oh, it's nice. It's very, very nice, nice. Mm -hmm. very tasty. Delicious. Delicious. Oh, lovely.
Just keep working. Keep walking. Keep walking. Don't stop. Don't stop. Keep walking. Keep walking forward. Forward. Yeah, over there. Over there. Keep walking. Smile. You're on camera. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. You are not coming back until you had a swim. Yes, yes. Put the show off. In the water. Do it quick. Not bad, not bad, darling. From a person who was afraid of cold water, you became a mermaid. Now I know we're not going to be able to see it because uh, wide angle lens, but uh, way out there on the other side of the lake, is, I think it's about 60 kilometers, but uh, there's mountains that go up and touch the, the, uh, the clouds there. But those mountains have actually got snow on their peaks. So here we are, the hottest part of the summer. We're also in Mount, so it's not, very hot here I mean it's it's Australian spring um, but the water's bearable you can swim in it and um, yeah but the height of summer in Kyrgyzstan and I'm looking at mountains with snow on them help us grow like share and subscribe And we have our friends with us today. They've come up to visit us. Uh, we got Misha, which is short for Mikhail or Michael, and Nadia, which is short for Nadia, and of course Elena. And we're all enjoying ourselves at the beach at Isikul.